Good afternoon, Joe Victor with Allendale Incorporated, closing commentary for Monday, June 7th, and course a weaker close at the expense of higher outside market, and that is principally the dollar, dollar versus euro. Take a look at that, and uh, we have recommendations where, again, buying the dollar, and of course out, other outside market influence, not only a, a weakening euro currency, but also seeing spread. There is a spread opportunity there between buying the dollar and selling the euro currency. At the same time, crude oil relatively unchanged, a little bit weaker, but we're seeing corn, and it's primarily corn and beans, as well as wheat. Don't forget the hard red winter wheat harvest taking place. We get some results coming in from Oklahoma last week, and of course, conditions this afternoon, when we look at the progress of hard red winter wheat, the harvest itself, they're talking about possibly seeing some delays. But the problem is that, again, where there's opportunity, it's primarily for the end user. And that is a weakening wheat market, whether it is hard red or soft red. Look at the conditions of the spring wheat, high. Look at rice, high. It is a starch. And corn. Corn, looking for at least at 3 o'clock today when NAS puts out the report, looking for at least a percent increase from last week's 76 percent, equal to 2007, and of course it would be the second best, 1991, had the highest rating. And of course, we should see soybean ratings very near 70 percent, good to excellent. And of course, again, 2007 resembles uh, what these, the 2010 crop looks like at this point in time. Weather non-threatening for the winter we, for the corn har, or corn planting and uh, soybean planting, and of course we're seeing the corn even in northeastern Illinois. We're from we're starting to see corn as camp heat, and of course at this point in time, looking for not only wheat uh, harvest uh, primarily in southern Illinois, but you're looking at a progressive, very progressive uh, cor uh, corn and soybean. Um, uh, crop conditions at this point in time. Along with it, uh, at 3 o'clock we do have those reports coming out. We are also looking for a special report that we put out last week, uh, tail end of last week, and you're seeing that even though crop conditions may be on the decline on the five-year average, the yield going into harvest suggests a higher corn yield. And of course with the uh, early planting start that we got this year for corn, uh, this crop is uh, destined for greatness as far as high test weight and high quality crop along with it and also looking at take a look at our uh, recommendations that we're putting on the Allendale advisory report and that is again uh, selling rallies if we're not already short the corn hey, remember this remember this put this in the, in the front of your mind and that is you can make just as much money go in a down market they can in an up market and even though that the corn uh, you're looking at a great quality crop that's out there for corn and soybeans but at the same time, market is one of selling rallies at this point in time. And we, for the uh, end user of wheat, looking at 40 to 60% harvested, that's where you feel a bottom starts to take place for the wheat market. Likewise for the corn, selling rallies, bean selling rallies, cotton already short, coffee already short, but taking money out of the market in a, in a downtrending market, do not wait for opportunity is knocking, and you need to answer that door. Along with it, uh, make sure that you're taking a look at the cash hogs. Uh, weakness, we feel, is going to be the tail end of this week, uh, as opposed to early in the week, look for cash hog weakness to, to uh, find its bottom towards the tail end of the week. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Uh, the number is 802-MARKET, that's 1-800-262-7538. Feel free to give us a call, any questions or comments that you have about this report, and we'll be back with you tomorrow morning. Thank you, and have a great day.